welcome to this Glen Dimplex heating and ventilation information video on the Quantum High Heat Retention Heater A to G series. Quantum user interface is located on the top of the appliance and performs a number of functions. Quantum Heater Service Menu Quantum Heater Slave Mode This video will show you how to access the service menu to configure the Quantum Heater Slave Mode. Ensure that both the Quantum Heater electrical supplies adjacent to the unit are switched on. Please ensure the heater is not covered or obstructed at any time. After the power on sequence and self-test have completed, the main user display appears showing the current required room temperature and the current comfort status. Press and hold simultaneously for 5 seconds the selector dial, the menu button and the back button. Hold until the service screen appears. The service menu appears displaying configure, charge time, which is not applicable, slave mode and heater size. Configure is highlighted by default. Rotate the selector dial to highlight slave mode. Press the selector dial to access the slave mode menu. Slave mode appears. This parameter is used when there are multiple quantum heaters in one room. Under these circumstances, the heaters may work against each other and misinterpret the charge required. Enabling slave mode on one of the heaters configures that heater to take a full charge each night, allowing the other to be flexible. Enable is highlighted by default. Press the selector dial to enable slave mode on the heater. The service menu appears. Press the back button to return to the main user display. The main user display appears. The heater slave mode has been enabled. The heater will take a full charge each night. For other information videos, please visit www.gd.com.